Hello and welcome back to Payday 2 101 with your host as always in the dry bread. Today I'll be analyzing the RPK Light Machine Gun and the Swedish K Submachine Gun. Keep in mind that all of these weapons are heavily modded as we're looking for the long-term potential of each weapon. First with the RPK Light Machine Gun. The RPK is the first of the three light machine guns you unlock and probably the easiest to use. Although it looks unimpressive compared to the other two light machine guns, it fits in a small window of effectiveness until the KSP light machine gun is unlocked. For the pros, it's very easy to use and is very easy on ammo. For the cons, the smallest LMG magazine size and little flexibility in the mods. The RPK is probably one of the best weapons in the game to teach new players how to be effective in a shootout. Between its huge ammo pool and being so simple to use, it makes a great training weapon. Just keep in mind that you do move 20% slower when you have it out, so switch to your secondary weapon if you need to move fast. Now onto the next weapon with the Swedish K-Sup machine gun. The Swedish K is quite similar to the Kobus 90 in that it hits harder than most SMGs, but only holds about two magazines worth of ammo. It stands out from the rest of the SMGs by being the most concealable weapon in the entire game. For the pros, highest potential concealment of any gun, great damage per second, and great stability. And for the cons, and you've heard this one before, worse than the Kobus 90 in everything but accuracy. Overall, the Swedish K can be a great stealth weapon to bring the detection rate of someone down massively, but in a shootout, it doesn't quite stand up to the Kobus 90. That's it for this week's episode of Payday 2 101. For next week's episode, more weapon guides, probably onto pistols. That one's been requested a lot. If you're interested in this series and would like to watch more, a link to the playlist will both be on screen as well as in the description. This series is ever updating as new patches change the game, so I'll keep you guys up to date. If you're looking for some teammates to play with, why not join in my Steam group linked in the description. And if you want to keep up with me, I have a Facebook fan page as well as a Twitter linked down there. Feel free to request I talk about anything in the game, as long as I don't already have a video on it in the playlist, and I look forward to seeing everyone's feedback. If you want to see some more of me, the video on the left is of some Age of Empires games I've been playing recently, and on the right is of my newest Let's Play. That's it for this video, thank you all for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.